hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel and to another video if you are new here and um, welcome please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any all of our videos that come up i do videos every tuesday and every friday and optional sometimes i do a bonus video now on a sunday as well so please hit the button stay here with us and let's see what we get up to so for those of you that aren't new recently and um, you may have seen a nail plate haul that i did and some of these you are sugar plate were on it I will link that haul up here if you want to take a look and one of the plates that was on it was this little round one so this is you are um, s09 and it's a cute little um round plate that has this little guy blowing the dandelions so I thought I would put that on um across my badly painted nails no I'm not finished painting them so we will do that in the video but in the meantime I thought just quickly on the paper I would swatch it to see is it any good and then if it is we can go ahead and do some sort of design with it then so as with all plates you need to remove this blue film and I find the smaller the plate is the harder it is to remove it So I'm just gonna, as normally, like I do with all of my plates, I'm just gonna clean that off with some pure acetone and then we will do a quick swatch before we go into the design. So as you can see by the markings on it, it is all cleared off. So let's do a couple of swatches. Yeah, that is picking up perfectly and also transferring perfectly. We'll just do one more before we get into the actual pattern of today's nails. Now I did miss a little bit on Tinkerbell, but I do think that might have been my scraping. I, I, I um, really did over scrape at that time but it's transferring perfectly across onto the paper again. So I would say that that was actually my scraping and not the, um, the stamp or the plate itself. I'm gonna clean up the plate and we'll go in and do a design on the nails. So what I've done is I have gone in and I have put, I'm obviously smudged here, but put one coat of this pastel pink. It is, it is not um one you buy this is one i have made up with the essence the gel white polish if you want to see how i make my pastel polishes i will put a link up here so i have put one coat of this on my nails because i'm going to go in with this hollow glitter um nail polish now it is uh real chic in 314 now because i i have put a coat of my own pink on because i didn't want to do waste three coats of this because the, it is only seven mils and um, so i thought if i did one coat of pink it already give it the base that you need and you could just go in with one or maybe even two if you're lucky So I'll go ahead and I'll do that across all 10 nails. So I have put on two coats of that hollow polish over the baby pink. Um, I hope you can see it because it's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go in with my Nail Artisan Liquid Latex and put that around so um, there won't be such a bad cleanup when we're done then. So I want to reverse my stamping image because if I pick up this guy here and stamp it's going to be facing as is um, but I want him facing the other day, other way so what we need to do is we need to stamp and then stamp it and then stamp it again onto another stamper head so when then you're doing it it will be facing the other way um, and obviously I will show you exactly what I mean. So with the black polish you're going to load it on. Scrape it off. That's not scraped properly. So as you can see now, if I stamp that on my nail, it's going in that direction. I'm gonna roll that onto 
I waited too long. I'm actually gonna switch onto a sticky stamper head. I think it might transfer that bit better. So now what I'm going to do is obviously apply him to my nail, but I'm gonna put on a clear top coat, but dry brush it onto my small finger there. So when I transfer, it just has something sticky to adhere to. So just wiping off as much of the polish off that brush as you can. And I have to be honest, I absolutely hate stamper heads that I can't see where I'm putting it. Now, this is a great one. It is by Dixie Plate. It is perfect. Um, but I'm not going to be able to see where I'm putting it. So I might be slightly off camera while I'm doing this. And I hope not. I will do my very best. So there we have the guy. He did transfer it. Now I did miss slightly at the side there and you can color that in then with a small nail art brush as he's blowing. But now we will just get into putting those images across the rest of the nail. And there we have the thumb. So I am going to clean up and repeat on the other hand, but I'm only going to repeat the dandelions. I'm not going to repeat the little guy. But in the meantime, I will just take a nail striper brush and some polish. And I will just fill in the gap at the side of that little finger. Now. Yeah. So here are the final nails, guys. I hope you like them. I think they turned out really pretty. It's nice to see that a hollow popping anyhow, especially in some natural sunlight as well. It's just absolutely divine. So if you like them, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which is these little finger nails here in the purple. And this box here shows our next video. So until the next one, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.